I got a call regarding a flooded property. I went out and looked at it. I took pictures, absolutely, so that when we went back and we could work, we can get the French drain right where we needed it to grab up all that water. What's cool about this, I'm going to show you the before, the during, when we come back and it's dry and we can work the site, and I'm going to walk you through this yard during the same type of rain event like you see in that picture. Remember that tan shed, that beige shed. Remember that because we're going to come back to that. So we put a system in through here. Now, there was some construction prior to us being there, and that grass was underwater for so long there was no saving it. So I did want to mention that. So we ended up you know, doing what we usually do, and that's seed and straw. We encourage everyone to seed and straw. Remember that shed. Remember that shed. Okay, in that picture, you've seen that that shed was in the middle of a bunch of water. Perimeter drain. We ran perimeter drains down both sides of the spaghetti lot so that we can get the water to a lift pump right at the St. Clair River there and lift the water up over the seawall and out into the river. This lot was just too long and too flat to get the water out. So I went back and that's the next door neighbor. Look at their yard. So this rain event was even more of an event than the pictures that I showed you from the lot we did. Here's the lot we did, there's that shed. So you can see that our burrito wrap system is just kicking butt because you saw the pictures. His yard would have been even more flooded than it was in those pictures that I took because like I said, this rain event was four inches. It was a bigger rain event. And you could see by the neighbors with their uh, kayak or, or canoe or whatever that was floating that, that it was really, really bad. And all the while our lift station is just doing its thing. And you know, here in Michigan, sometimes we get all four seasons in the same week, but the river still had a little bit of ice on it. But our system ran so much that you could see that there's open water, that it just literally melted the ice on the river. So there's our system right there. It moves 160 gallons per minute. As soon as it empties that lift station, it fills so quick and it just cycles again. And when the homeowner wakes up, the water's gone. His yard looks great. It's not saturated. And his neighbor's sitting there with the flooded yard. All right, everybody, until that next video.